it's hard to tell. Hard for me to see all these signs along the road here. Uh-oh, pull in for vehicle inspection. All right, we'll come back over. That's it, when you hit this port of entry, and there's the wife. Got everything happening at once. I'll be right back, folks. Calculating route. All Please right. proceed to highlighted route. We got the Keep wife out of the way. Keep recalculating route. Well, let's see how much our weight's going to be here. Let's stop at the scale, get inspected. There we go. We're stopping here. All right, let's make sure we fell full down on them scales there. 70,769 pounds. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. Well, I'm sure hoping to. Before we get out of here totally, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to get a picture, and I'm also going to do this. See how much gas we got. All right, we still got half a tank, so I think we're going to make it. I was worried about that because I think we passed the last gas station just a little while ago, last fuel station. So I'm going to stop here. We're going to get our picture, and I'll be right back with you. All right, we got it. So let's see if we can get on out of here. We still got a ways to go. According to this, we got about five and a half hours is what it's anticipating. Of course, we're sitting at a standstill too. So that don't help none. Get this blinker on, get back out here on the highway. You know, we'd be late. Going these slow speeds and these slow gears, we'd be late, but we sure would be saving our employer a hell of a lot of money in gas prices. You notice when we were down there moving about eight miles an hour, we were getting almost seven miles to the gallon. As opposed to right now, where we're getting, what, six and a half thereabouts? Right at six and a half? All right, let's hope that's the last one of these here. gonna be the last one of these here wait stations before we get where we need to go let's hope this is the last time we have to gear down before we get our speed up where it needs to go too con sign it that's one thing I can say about the difference between the 10 speeds and the 18 speeds the 18 speed you do a lot more shifting but it just don't seem like you top out, you know, this one right here, you top out at like 45 right there, and then everything up that's after that is still in 10th gear. From 45 on up to 80 or whatever you want to do before you roll this puppy. It's just go, 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 go. At least with 18 speed, it seemed like you got up to about 50 or 55 before you finally shifted into that top gear there. Let's cut our brights off so we're not blinding everybody. Watch the speed limit through here. We're still at 80? All right, so we can just floor it and go. We don't have to worry about it because we ain't never going to get anywhere near 80 in this sucker. I guarantee you, I can, I can guarantee you I won't get nowhere near 80 in this, in this truck. These curves worry me. Especially these curves with these big old rock outcroppings on one side of them. They scare me a little bit. And I don't like that feeling. I don't ever want to hear, feel that feeling in my steering wheel where it was jerking back and forth and trying to throw me around like it was. Now, we still got to get to Salt Lake City. Y'all like Salt Lake. Salt Lake City, that right there, I've got a couple Mormon friends and they've talked about they've talked about how they want to go to Salt Lake because that's kind of like the center of the Mormon faith, you know, the Latter-day Saints. That's their, their center of their faith for the Latter-day Saints. Salt Lake City is kind of like their Mecca or it's kind of like, you know, their, their Vatican City or kind of like their Jerusalem or kind of like their Peanuts Redneck Barbecue. 
code. You know, I don't discriminate. I, I trust whatever you want to, whatever you want to believe in, and whatever you want to worship. And I can tell you, my cousin Peanut, he makes some good redneck barbecue. Let me tell you. So, but yeah, that's what you find there. So you see a lot of churches out in that Utah, out Utah way. A lot of churches, uh, the Latter Day Saints, and all that. It's their real big religion. It's like the number one religion here in the state. And they're just, for the most part, good people. Just like everybody else. You know, everybody out there, just good people. All of us just trying to, trying to make our paychecks and, and make our way through the day. Make our paychecks, make our, our loan payments, and, and make our way through the day for our Keep families right, and all. Then immediately exit right. Alrighty, I think this must be Salt Lake coming up here. One of, my, right. one of my favorite quotes from The Simpsons. I think it was from The Simpsons movie. Homer done something stupid, if you can imagine that. Turn left. Homer done something really stupid, if you can imagine that happening. And Marge talked to him and said, Homer, how could you do that? Don't you ever think? And Homer said, well, you know, Marge, I... I try not to think if I can, said I admire those people who do, but said I just try to get through the day and make it not hurt too much until I can get back home to you. And I think that's one of the sweetest things I'd ever heard. Turn left. Why are we turning? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's head up here. Where the heck are we? Let's look at our... Why are we turning left and turning left? No! Did it or did it not say turn left whenever we were, whenever we pulled off? We should have turned right there and it was telling us turn, I guarantee it said turn left. So why is it sending us back over all the way down yonder? How did we get that number one there? There should not be a number one there. Did I hit that whenever I... Well, I guess because I, I must have hit it whenever I did something. Oh, well, this is going to hurt. Let's see if we can make an illegal U-turn up here. Calculating route. I'm going to see. Please proceed to highlighted route. Turn left. Yeah, just hush. We're going to see if we can do something highly illegal up here. Y'all get out of my way there. All y'all trucks and cars and everything, just get out of my way. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you? Come on, get your big tandem out of my way there. Get your big double butt out of my way. What I was wanting you to do in the first place, because we're going to do this. And we're gonna see if we can swing it on around here. Oh, this ain't good. Yeah, this ain't good. Let's hope there ain't no troopers around nowhere. Now, I wanna hear a recalculating route out of your mouth. Recalculating that's, route. And that's the only thing I wanna hear out of your mouth. Give me the wrong directions and all like that. Well, at least the second half, at least the second half of our trip right here is gonna be nice and well lit. Looks like that beautiful sun's coming up over there. And this is a very pretty place. It's a very pretty state. Look at that chemical company up in front of us. You ever see anything prettier than that? Look how it stretches, just stretches forever. And if I remember right, if I remember my Utah history right, I believe that chimney over there, Keep we ain't got a... Left. Ain't then getting a... turn left. We ain't getting a... Good look at it right at the moment. Oh, I had to step on them brakes. But I believe that there's a chimney here, and it probably that big one you see right over yonder is like the tallest chimney in the state. Let's see here. Let's get out number two. Yeah, that one. I think that thing is like one of the tallest structures in the state, if I remember right. So I did do a little bit of listening to all the stuff that they Turn had left hey we got a green light how come nobody's moving up there 
They, we had a green light all that time and nobody was moving. All right, yeah, I would done turn yellow for us. Thank y'all so much, brother truckers. Glad you know y'all got my back. Hanging out and just sitting there all that time. Couldn't go a little quicker and help a brother in need, could you? See, this is what I'm talking about right here. We're just sitting right here, right here like this. We're getting 6.3 miles per gallon. We sat here all day. We'd save him so much gasoline. Oh. Alrighty, I'm gonna have myself another drink out of my thermos here while we're sitting here. Ah, let me set it back down here in these cup holders. Y'all gonna give us an arrow this time? Hmm? Gonna give us an arrow? There we go. Let's get moving. Just don't kill it. Let's get it in gear. Remember that double clutch. Even with 10 speed, you still gotta double clutch that puppy. Now, this is the road I'm thinking. This should be taking us right on into Salt Lake up here. Up kind of into the heart. And we should be passing by that question mark, which like I said, should be, I believe, a Volvo place. That should be what we're coming across. So let's see if my predictions come true. go. Alright, we got another light up here. Salt Lake City discovered. Welcome to Salt Lake, everybody. Yep, there we go. It says Volvo, doesn't it? Is this going to be close enough? Are we going to pass by close enough? Please tell me this is close enough. Or we're going to have to swing way over here. Am I going to have to pull it up in there to discover the place? Thank you. Volvo truck dealership discovered. Alrighty. The only one we gotta hit now is whenever we get up there to what, uh, Ogden? When we get up there to Ogden, we gotta hit that Kenworth dealership. And then we will have all three. We'll be able to pick and choose. Although, FCS put out a sneak peek video just a day or two ago where it looks like the Lone Star is coming. We're going to have another truck. We're going to have a fourth truck company. I think that's international, if I remember right. In 200 yards, turn left. Because we're already getting a whole bunch of different... Uh, whoops, what the heck? We already got a, all the, the... Basically, the dealerships are in the game already. They just don't have anything in them. Tell you what, I gotta get used to this realistic braking. Yep, like I said, welcome to Salt Lake, everybody. Such a nice little town here. There we go. Let's see if we can get on through here. Get through before the light changes on us or before anybody comes the other direction. Now I'm not sure which way we're gonna go up here. Looks like those little arrows are telling us to hang to the right. But we got plenty of time, it doesn't matter. Cause we didn't have no fatigue. So we ain't gotta worry about sleeping. The only thing I am worried about is my gas and as I said before, last time I've been driving... Last time I was driving one of these Volvos, it seems like they just gently sip on the gasoline there. Seems like we hardly used any fuel back when we were driving around in these little Volvos. 
Well, well, except we're in a Kenworth now, aren't we? I got Volvo on the brain. Got Volvo Keep on the right, brain. Then turn right. But it looked like we barely used any any fuel. And it doesn't look like we're using a whole lot here. Turn right. All right, we're going to get back on I-80. Let's just come to a stop. We may be able to turn right, but you're still supposed to stop before you do it. Ain't nobody in the turning lane over there, so I think we're going to be good. There's Salt Lake City. Ain't sure pretty. Whoa, keep it on the road. Quit rubbernecking. There'll be plenty of time for rubbernecking after you get your own car. After you get your own car, and you can come around, and after you got all those truck, all those uh, drivers earning you your money and stuff like that, then you can come and Keep rubberneck right, and all. Then immediately exit right. Now see, we're gonna get a better exit view of it. Right. We are. We're gonna get a better view because we're gonna be going over this big old bridge here. Y'all take a look out at the city straight ahead of us and off to the right there we go. Isn't it pretty? It's quite the town there. Hey there Salt Lake City, how y'all doing? Just passing through, but I'll be back to see y'all again, see if we can't get a little closer view next time. Get a little friendlier with you. Alright, so from here it's just straight on up Dognard. Or Ogden. I guess I get them confused trying to say Ogden and Oxnard at the same time, and it came out of Ognard. There we go, let's get our head centered again. All this moving around and jerking on my little track IR beacon up there, you know, it's sitting on the same stand. A little camera that picks everything up sits on the same stand up there that uh, that the wheel is on, the steering wheel, so. Yeah, it wants to kind of jerk around from time to time. All right, let's see Keep here. Keep right, then immediately exit right. All right, nobody in that lane. Exit right. Oh, I felt the truck wobbling just then. I really did. Keep right, then turn right. That's the big thing, I think. No quick movements. Got to make sure I don't do that. No quick jerking of the wheel. No. Turn right. Let's stop doing this over this quick overcompensating, you know? Anything coming? Looks like it is, but we got the green light, so we're okay. Almost there, people. Almost there. Remember, the speed limit's 45. We back down to speeds where we could actually get tickets now. Keep right. fountain or something up yonder you see that water spraying and all that that mist flying by up yonder past those trees let's see if we can see what that is when we get up there closer to it there we go failing to maintain our lane again is that what that is is that water shooting up in there I'm thinking that's what that is. I'm really not sure. I'm worried about if it's some kind of accident or something. It looks like it might be. I'm gonna change lanes right quick, try to beat this bus out of it. Be 
said, yeah, we got something going on right there. Yep, we got a broken water main or something. Got all that water squirting out of that, shooting out of that manhole cover there. Keep left, then turn left. That's one of them random events that you get in this game now, you know? Kind of like turn those people, left. like the cars that are broken down and the people that are pulled over and stuff. Oh, 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 step on, whoop. All right. Come on, come on. We were about to go through the red light and fortunately, fate was looking out for us and let it turn green just before we came through it. Well, let's let's see if just one time, just one trip here, maybe we can have a clean slate. Not end up with any tickets, not end up with any wrecks, not run into nobody. Just one trip, how about that? We ain't had one of those in a while. Looks like we're gonna turn left again up here. Keep left, then turn left. I like this little city strip, ain't this pretty? This is awful pretty. Turn left. This reminds me of Anno whenever you get the the fancy roadways that you can lay down in Anno 27. It's got the little little pretty flowery tree strips in the middle of it and all. My butt end hanging over there in that lane? It is, but just barely. Guess we'll come up just a little bit. Maybe we'll get it up a little further. Yeah, I ain't hitting you, brother trucker. You got plenty of room. What the hell are you looking at me for? Yeah, I know I'm pretty. I know I'm pretty, but send me an email. Maybe we can work something out. All right, now this is going to be the, the tricky part because I'm thinking we come down here. Oh, train station. We're going to come down, and I think this is where we... We we'll go buy it and go take a look at that truck factory or whatever it is, and then come back. In fact, let's look at our thing here because it looks like our landmark has disappeared. Yep, it has. Cause see, we need to make a right so we can get this Kenworth place. So I'm glad I noticed that. I'm glad I noticed that little question mark on our map off to the right there. Route. I can see that question Please mark off to the right. The route. There's that fresh direct truck. It finally got where In it was going. Yards, turn right. I'm glad you finally caught up with the rest of us there, buddy. I'm turn just hoping right. the stuff was still halfway fresh when you got there. That's all I care about. I don't see any traffic lights or nothing. You see any traffic lights? I don't see any traffic lights. I don't see any stop signs. Fortunately, I don't see no traffic coming either, so maybe we're safe doing this. Yeah, we cleared the curb. I got half a mind just to jump this curb right here, you know, and just drive on out across there. But I think that's this side of where we're trying to get. Hey, we're gonna get to see a train. We hadn't had that happen to us before. Which way is it coming? Is it coming from the train station or is it going to the station? Here it comes. Nice. Nice. Look at that pretty old flag on the side of it there. And I got the longer trains mod in here, so this won't be no six cars long. Look at this sucker. This is a proper freight train here. Nice. That's a lot nicer. Very pretty. Now, let us get on in here. We got stuff to deliver and a truck dealership to discover. I know there's a rule there that's don't shift gears when you're crossing train tracks, but and the main reason for that is you know you don't want to stall it. In you don't want to. Two hundred yards, turn right. You don't want to miss shift and stall turn it and end up right. being stuck on the track when a train comes by. But I thought maybe we were a little bit safe doing it there. 
being that. We could see the train, he'd already gone past us. There was only one track, it wasn't like he was gonna suddenly do a U-turn and come back. All right, look at that big old sign there, big old pretty sign says Kenworth. We're gonna have to turn into this one in order to turn around and come back. So we'll go ahead and turn our blinker on. Please make a U-turn where safe. That's what we're doing. Kenworth truck dealer discovered. That is what we're doing. We are gonna pull it on up in here. We are gonna make us a U-turn. There's our sales, there's service. Now, get straight on back to our, to our drop off point. And then we'll be happy campers. Next time we gonna buy our truck, figure out where we're gonna get it from. And then we're gonna probably this one right here. I think we might get a Kenworth or we'll get a Volvo. If we get a Volvo, we'll be in Salt Lake. That'll be cool. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. Can't find them, grind them. Wave to the people picnicking. Hey there, people picnicking. Yeah, it's us again. Don't mind us, we're from California. You know how we are. We got another train coming through? How many trains come through these parts? Yep, here it comes again. Let's see how big this one is. Oh, this one's hauling logs. That was hauling a bunch of dole fruit. This one's hauling logs and stuff. BASF, the chemical company. Alrighty. Ooh, it does have two tracks. I only noticed the one. Oh well, let's get on past it. Then once we're past it, is our trailer past it yet? Yep, there it comes. Alright, we'll shift so that we don't have any any danger of stalling it there and having a big old train inconvenience by having to ram into the side of us. All right. In fact, we heading for the train station, I believe. I think it was the BN, BNSF is where we were headed. Now, like I said, right there, I don't see any traffic. Ain't no traffic signs. Ain't no traffic lights. So I'm not sure, but... Let's zoom on in here a little bit. There we go. In what we got over here? Seafood? Yards. Turn right. Yep, seafood market. We're gonna turn in turn here. Turn right. And see where they want this puppy. You Hello have everybody. Arrived. Let's see how they want to hear it. We're only halfway through our sleeping. Boy, we almost drank no gas in that time. Hmm. That one? Or that one? Or just skip it. Let's do the pull-up. I'm going to keep doing these pull-ups until I get me a bottled pill at PM. No, nope, not that kind of pull-up. I'm going to keep doing these pull-ups until I get my own truck. And then once I got my own truck... That's when we'll start doing the real parking. So be prepared that next time we're going to be doing real parking in this puppy. But until then, we're going to do it this way. So let's see where he wants it. There's that truck, there's that train that just came past us. You'll recognize that bass, BASF and all that. They must have dropped that off with them. All right, where y'all want it? Y'all want it up underneath the crane over here? Yep, y'all want it under the crane. So y'all apparently gonna drop this whole thing onto one of these rails. Y'all gonna just pick the, this whole trailer and drop it down onto one of these rails. Rail cars, which is fine, other than the fact I really don't like parking on a train track like this. Let's keep it over this way a little bit. 
swing it on back. And then can we make it here? Is this where you want it? That's where you want it. Alrighty. Let's stop the engine. Put the parking brake on. Let's pop out and take a look. Yeah, I like that. In fact, I think I'm going to get me another picture right here. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we got our pictures. Yet another train goes flying by over there. So we're going to drop this down and, and detach right here. And let's see how they thought about it. They gave us an excellent. We delivered it in a little over eight, a little under eight hours. We burned almost 43 gallons of gas, 249 miles. And we are never now a level five. We are no longer newbie. We are now an enthusiast. Hot diggity dang. All righty. We will continue. We got another point. Hmm. What do we got? We got fuel economy. I just don't... I'm not doing just in time. We got to get our skills a lot better. And it just don't pay that much. It's only 3% and 20. See, this one right here is 5 and 22. That's 5 and 18. And then this gives us all our other... Other uh, hazardous stuff. I think I'm going to go with the fragile. Because that gives us our highest. That's 5% and 22% experience bonus. So we're going to put one point in Fragile now. And then we're going to get the rest of our Hazardous up here. And then work on High Value, I think. So yeah, I think that's how we're going to go to try to maximize our rewards there. Alright, from now on you can purchase your own trailers and upgrade and paint them to match your truck. Your trailers can be stored in your chosen garages. They can be used by your drivers to increase profits. Manage your trailers, you see Trailer Manager. Awesome. Fantastic. We got some emails down here we hadn't looked at either. What we got? We can help you grow with the bank. Dear sir or madam, we couldn't help but notice your steady earnings and we'd like to assist you with developing your potential even further. Your credit limit has been raised to $500,000. Feel free to draw from the available sum at any of your local bank centers. Respectfully, Loan Shark. All right, so we can get up to $500,000. Yep, next time we will definitely be taking out a loan and we will definitely be taking buying us a truck as well. In fact, why don't we go ahead and look at the truck dealers. Look at there. We got Peterbilt. We got Volvo. We got Kenworth. We got all of them we can look at. And that's what we're going to do next time. We are going to be visiting the selected dealer. Let's go ahead. Do you want to travel to Salt Lake? Yeah, I'd like to travel to Salt Lake. Look at there. Look at there. Isn't that a pretty little Volvo? What's it come as its list price? 118000 How much money we got in our bank? Our money. We got just under fifty. So we'll definitely be taking out a loan. We'll be taking out enough probably to buy the truck. 130, 150,000, buy the truck, get all our things, like a really nice engine. We ain't gonna do it, no 355 horsepower engine and no 1250 torque. We're gonna have to get something a lot better than that, but we'll get it. We'll increase the fuel tank as well so we're not gassing up all the time. And uh, we'll go from there. So there you go, folks. We'll see y'all next time. Yes, I wanna leave the de truck dealership. There we go. We'll see y'all next time. And uh, thank y'all for coming with me.